Well, hello viewers, back in the greenhouse again and I've done a bit of repotting today. I've done about four Mazda Valleys and I thought um, I'm on the final one. I've shown you this on a previous video, it's time to be repotted and I thought we could do it together. Still got new growths coming down the bottom here. So, let's have a look how we uh, tidy up and repot these Mazda Valleys. So let's get it out of the pot first. It don't smell too bad. I watered it yesterday to start loosening off this old sphagnum. This one is in pure sphagnum. But um, I really want to get it into my media. My small bark and perlite mix with a little bit of sphagnum. I find sphagnum stays too wet. And a lot of my Mazda Valley has suffered when I first started. Um, using sphagnum but this really needs to get um, clean out it'll take me a while to get this off so what I'll do I'll just pause you while I clean this off and get the roots off be back in a minute Right then, I've finished getting most of the sphagnum off. As you can see, it's got some beautiful roots around here. But there's a lot of old roots that you can trim off. I've been trimming them off and forgot to film it, to be honest. But um, this is how I like to do Mazda Valleys. A lot of healthy roots growing. Take off the dead ones. You don't need them. They're doing the Mazda Valley no good. They're only going to... Um, rot. I can't take any more off at this moment in time. Next time I do it I'll probably uh, split the plant but I want to have um, a nice healthy plant going into the growing season next year. But that's how I do it. So what I'm going to do now is get another pot. We'll get another pot. Square pot this time what I like to use and we'll get it potted up. And we'll do that together. Give me one minute just to clean my hands up. I'm giving it uh, another size pot, probably about an inch bigger than it was in previous. It was in a small round pot. I like to keep all my Mazda Valleys in square pots because it's easy for me to get them inside my trays. Right, I've put the base in, so I'm just going to top up now. Put a little round the bottom, round the sides. Just get it in. All the way around. Get some more in. But be careful with the new growths. Don't go too deep with the Mazda Valia. Make sure you've still got plenty of roots are covered because it's the roots that need to be covered on a Mazda Valia. Don't just let, just let the new shoots protrude, so you can see all the new shoots. But, they're easy to do. This will probably have a mardi now for a couple of weeks, like most Mazda Valleys. They don't like being repotted. Well, does any orchid really? Do they like being repotted? I don't know. But... I like to do these at least once a year to make sure they've got nice fresh media for the growing seasons to come. We're going into the winter now. I repot at any time of year. I'm not one of these that read a book and say you, you can only do Mazda Valleys early in the spring. I do it when the plant needs it. So if this Mazda Valley needed repotting like I noticed the other day, it's been repotted now. And as I said, I've done a, I've done about four today. This one was more difficult because I think it's been in that pot a little bit longer than 12 months. But 
But there you have it. A repotted Rolfiana. All I've got to do now is give it a good watering, put the label back in. I've already dated it, the 9th, 18. Can you see that? Put the label in, give it a good water, and let it grow on again. That should do well in a couple of weeks. It's going to. I don't know what's up with them, but they, they slow down a little bit. In two weeks' time, that'll be fine again. And it'll be back to normal. So I've got to get on now. I've got a couple more to do. I don't want to show you any more. I think um, my method speaks for itself. I haven't lost a lot with the way I pot and the media I use. As I said before, some people like sphagnum all the time. I'm not fond of it because it's, it stays too wet. You can tell by this old sphagnum I've took out of it. It breaks down too much for me. Anyway, I'll get this uh, back on the shelf and I'll get on with what I've got to do. So, if you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you fancy following Mazda Valleyers, you can even subscribe to my channel. But, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.